If you've ever wondered what the Selective Service is and whether it applies to you, wonder no more because you're going to keep watching this video. Hello, I'm attorney Lee Marvin and I've been practicing law for over 20 years and I've decided to specialize in immigration law and I did that over a decade ago, okay? My main office is in Grand Rapids, Michigan, but I help families and individuals in every state of the country and really any country on the planet. So, I want to tell you to stick around. Stick around for just a couple minutes. Two minutes of your time is all it takes. Because if you are an immigrant especially, I want you to know for sure whether you are required to register for the Selective Service. What is a Selective Service? So, the Selective Service Administration, officially, is part of the America's National Defense Strategy to Support America's All-Volunteer Fighting Force. I read that from their website. This provides a pool of men available to deter or to fight in the event of a significant threat to the United States. So check out this link to their page for the official information about Selective Service, okay? So basically, everybody wonders, do I have to register? Do I have to serve. I mean, what does all this mean? It's very intimidating, okay? So unlike virtually all countries on the planet, we're one of the very few, I, I don't really know who else is in the same boat as us, that do not require absolute service in the military, compulsory military service. We don't require that in the United States. We used to have a draft, but we don't anymore. After the Vietnam conflict, the United States government decided that it was not fair to require a draft, to require people to fight. And why do they require why do they decide that? Because it was a train wreck and there was huge political fallout from people being forced to do that, especially in the United States. We don't force people to do things, or at least not very often. Every other country, yeah, you better believe it. If you're born or if you're a citizen of that country, you're absolutely required. And unless you bribe a public official or you buy your way out of it, you have to serve in their military. Not true in the United States. So following the Vietnam conflict, we decided that it was not a good policy. So we established the Selective Service Administration who keeps, maintains the pool of individuals to fill the need if it ever happens. Because again, the United States is an all-volunteer fighting force. So anyone in the military, they chose to be there, okay? So that's a huge, huge difference between us and most countries on the planet, okay? So who needs to register for the Selective Service? Basically, every male between the age of 18 and 26 are required to register, okay? That That's if you're living in the United States. If you're, uh, you know, somewhere else, you're, 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 a student, you, you go somewhere else, you're not living here, you're not required to register. If you live here, you do. It applies equally to U.S. citizens or to immigrants. What? Yes. If you're a legal permanent resident, aka an immigrant, if you're a refugee, okay, if you were paroled into the United States, if you're an asylee, you're required to register for the Selective Service. If you're undocumented, you equally are required to register for the Selective Service. Why? That's ridiculous. No, you're in the United States, you're living here, working here, being protected by the United States. All that you're being asked, actually required, in return is to register in case something goes really bad and we need to defend the country. So it's honestly a pretty low ask considering what you get out of being in the United States, okay? So this does not apply to visitors, just passing through, tourists, whatever. And it also does not uh, uh, apply to certain non-immigrants with a valid non-immigrant status. So for example, seasonal workers, agricultural workers, if you've got a valid visa and you're here for work purposes, you're not required to register, okay? Uh, everyone else, pretty much you gotta register, okay? It's important to know that just because you're registered doesn't mean you're joining the military, okay? You will not automatically be required to serve. That's only in a catastrophic event, big, big, big problems, okay? 
So that is the process. This has never happened. So selective service, people being um, compelled to be inducted into the military, it's never happened before. This is just the super secret backup plan in case something, basic World War III, okay? That happens, we're gonna have to fight and protect people, and that's how we do it, okay? So, highly critical information. The link that I gave you before to the Selective Service is the place you go for the official word on what is required, okay? There's more nuances there on, on this. Um, so take a look at that. You do better, you better register. If you don't register, later on, it will come back and bite you, okay? You may not be able to become a U.S. citizen if you're a legal resident and you go through all this stuff and you didn't register for selective service, you can be denied U.S. citizenship, okay? So there's very good reasons to do it. Um, so just do it. Uh, and again, this has never come up before. Nobody's ever been inducted into the military uh, through the selective service. So don't sweat it. Just do it because you're required to, okay? Um, if you like the information in this video, you found it useful, please click on the subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you get notified of future videos. If you have questions, you wanna to speak to me, click this link to be put in contact directly with me so I can help you understand this process or anything related to immigration. Give you uh, help, so you just have to reach out to me. Let me know what you need.